I have some bad news for you. Go on. It's my job to give you bad news. Oh my God. It wasn't me. Oh my God. To the I, I, haven't, I haven't looked. <laughs> I haven't looked in them. But it rather ambiguously says Hannigan. And so <laughs> several members of my family. Oh, that looks exciting. So I have oh, another Hannigan attributed to themselves and owned it. Is that what yeah, happened there? Exactly. We're like, that'll do. I yeah. have a beautiful look. I'm you so have a top of the class. Top <laughs> of the class. <laughs> so <laughs> well, <laughs> on, then you open yours. You have to get to the same Should level. Do this crazy you. thing. Yes, found an envelope being opened. <laughs> <gasps> okay. What does that look like from there? Can you read it? Is it backwards? Or do I need to? No, I can it read it. I can read it no, weirdly. Exactly. Nice one. Okay, cool. Festival celebrating women in music, which is why we're here. What a good Go idea. On the women in music. Okay. <laughs> Who's going first? You go first. <laughs> I'm frazzled. But I'm going first as in asking you one. Is that, wait, do we? Okay, yes, you go first. Ask Maybe me. we should first introduce ourselves. Maybe. Um, okay. I'm Ben, aka Bernadette Barrett from Big Bear Management. And I am a member of the Women's Work of the IW Women, the Irish Women in Music Forum, which is why we're all here. And um, Lisa, I'll let you introduce yourself. Uh, and my name is Lisa Hannigan. I'm a singer songwriter um, from Ireland and I worked with Ben for 20 years. No. I think. <laughs> More years than I care to remember. Yeah, I did. And I remember meeting you first. I remember being at the gig and meeting you like when I was a child, an actual child. A child. Um, do we start at the, sorry to ask a technical question, but you start at the, this one. Or this one. Do you know what I mean? Oh, I, I'm just going to start at the first one that came out. Maybe oh. I should read them all first though and see. No, no, no. I think I think the one. Oh, because we probably have to hold them and then yeah, like so. If I hold it like this. It's probably a much better view. Okay, finish the sentence. As a woman and working as a woman working in music, I. Um, I, gosh, as a woman working in music, I am tired of uh, explaining to people that I write my own songs. <laughs> oh, amazing. So, <laughs> so the thing now is that I want to ask you more questions about that. But maybe that's not why we're here. But can you... No, it's not a, it it's not a regular thing then. Do you get asked all the time who writes your songs or how? Tell me less, more about that. Less now than I did, but I remember when I was starting out, there was a lot of, and who sort of does the music thing? You know, there was a lot of that. Right. <laughs> so you just you just carry a nice voice and, and sing along like. Yeah, which, you, you know, which is an absolute fine thing to do. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. But it, yeah, it, it, felt like, it felt like I had to really prove myself in that way you know the people or people would always be like oh you know I've got a, do you want me to write some songs for you and stuff I mean in fairness I'm very slow at writing songs so maybe that wouldn't be that bad a thing that's so interesting though <laughs> oh, is that you have the same question for me for you. as a woman working in music I same question for you I have the same question yeah um uh, as a woman working in music, I really want to empower other women to break down some of the barriers that generationally have existed and to create different problems for women coming up the ranks. That's a much better answer than mine. <laughs> not. I'm not a writer. And I, I just... Your answer is very interesting. Um, that's great, though. I feel like 
I mean, maybe because we obviously work with a lot of women in, in our in our circle. Mm -hmm. I feel like there's a lot more women about now or it doesn't. There you know. are. There are. And again, probably across the board, like in every other business, it's top heavy as in top level heavy with men where thankfully and part of this lovely little organization that we're part of the Irish Women's Manager, the Irish Women Managers Forum, there's a whole ton of beautiful, bright young women managers on that, which I love. But I think insofar as the hierarchy, it's still very male dominant. And we have a lot of work to do on that front. But I think like it's by empowering each other, because you know, let's be honest, women don't always support women. And I feel that's a really sad state of affairs. I think in business, a lot of women aren't particularly great at elevating other women. And there's a lot of competition between women sometimes. And I, I, I really struggle with that. I also feel that ladies, you know, often aren't the best at elevating themselves, you know, in terms of like putting themselves forward and being, you know, it's hard. Yes. There's a certain amount of confidence that, you know, you're it's sort of squashed a little, I think, sometimes. Um, as a woman, you know, let alone a woman working in music, you yeah. know, or in a male dominated field. But, um, you know, that sort of idea of like keeping yourself quiet, keeping yourself, you know, pleasing everybody and all that kind of stuff, you know, that it's that that's we have to help each other be better at that as well. And ask I'm people what we, that. what we deserve and things like that. OK, this one's going to be really scarlet. Are you ready? Are oh, you sorry. going next or am I? Oh, sorry. OK, no, you go next. <laughs> Same, I wonder if it's the same question. Okay. What song of mine means most to you? Oh! <laughs> God. All of my songs are about you, so. <laughs> <laughs> or Ben, without whom. <laughs> what song means most to me? Well, that's a tough question because there's so many of your songs remind me of really happy times of working together. But there's, there's my favourite song and then there's a song that means the most. And I, I think I'm going to have to say Leal. And it's not because of that song, but I remember where we were when you played it to me. And I remember we were out, we'd gone on a run. Mm -hmm. and we just had one of those really mad... Or maybe I'm maybe I'm even misremembering, but I remember we went out for a really mad run one day, and our tech was with us, and we happened upon a zoo. Yeah, and I can't, I'm tempted to say that was Leal, but it reminds me of really happy times. And I remember also you making the video for that song, and it was your first record, and I felt at the time it was the strongest song you'd written. Yeah, and I'm getting really excited with you and Jamie making that video together, and just. Yeah, I've got a really warm feeling about that song. That's the first song I ever heard on the radio as well. You know, things like Is that. It? Yeah, remember driving under Christchurch Cathedral thing, you know, and it coming on the radio and just being like, you know, wanting to like roll down the windows and be like, have you heard this? There's that song about Ben. There's that other song about Ben. So that was the first single. So just downhill from there, yeah? Right. <laughs> With all those smash hits later, we're still here. Okay, now I'm, um, oh Jesus. This is, uh, what are you doing to us lads? This is really embarrassing. Okay, here's my Scarlet question. Okay. How do you describe me to others? Oh, you're the best, you're the best. <laughs> you're the best person. Apart <laughs> from obviously writing about me in your songs. <laughs> well, it's quite hard when people. Sometimes people will say like, "Oh, you do. Do you, do you know any good managers? Or what should you have in a manager? Or you know?" And just the idea of having a manager who isn't your friend, you know, first. Mm. It's so it's because I've known you for so long. We worked together since you know for for my whole adult life, and um, like it's so for me. You know, you're one of my best friends, and then so that's kind of what you sort of need in a manager you obviously need someone with a completely different brain to you and someone who's like on the wall in a way that I would not 
pride myself as but you know <laughs> you have to have someone who's transmitting you to the world who knows better than you know how to kind of maneuver you um as an artist through and a person through you know what can be a, a tricky business um and like for that you need someone who knows you inside and out you know so i would sort of describe you you know just just as my to other people is it, it's hard for me to separate you being such a good friend to you being a manager like obviously you're very good at managing but I kind of feel like that's integral to why you're so good at managing because you really care about uh you really you know you you really care about me but you care about you know the my music and and how to for it to find a place in the world that suits it and doesn't bash it to bits you know um so just I suppose caring you know it's that thing if you, if you really put every you put your heart and soul into into it which is rare you know and and very I like I'm I feel so lucky that I that I ever met you I don't know how I would have I don't know I don't I genuinely don't know how I would have or if I would have managed to you know write and sing songs and do things you know if I didn't have you <laughs> there you go Scarlet thank you <laughs> That's really sweet and actually really lovely to hear. I hope I get the same question for you. I've got it <laughs> What's my next one? Oh, what role slash chore do you hate doing the most as my manager? <laughs> <laughs> Feeling in cellars, it's got to be. No, it's like... You're like, no, you have no idea of this shit. <laughs> sorry, I shouldn't say, sorry. I honestly, I don't think there's a part of the job. I mean, maybe we're very lucky to have an amazing team of people that work with us who I can, like, not that we're a big team or anything, but I think everybody gets to kind of pick and do the things that they're really good at. Yeah, of course, there's things that I enjoy less than others. But with a lot of female artists, it, it will be like hair, styling, makeup, glam, but you're so low to no maintenance on that front because you just always kind of are yourself and I love that authenticity I think anything that that challenges our authenticity together is something that I really hate doing we're like hey can you just make that song one minute 47 I know it's 11 minutes long but can you just make it smaller and like being being constantly challenged to fit things into a world that don't it's it's remind me what the question was because I think I know the answer now what role chore do you hate doing the most as my manager compromising I hate I hate having to explain to you why you have to compromise to fit into something that we're being asked to do so it's like hey I know you've written this five minute song but we need a three minute edit for radio can you do that it's like basically I've asked you to cut your song in half and I really struggle with that side of things because I want to support your artistry and its wholeness. But it's funny, the older I get, the less that kind of stuff sort of bothers me. It's weird. Really? You know, I think when I first started off, I would have I would have had a, such a flap about how do you turn a, a four minute song into a two minute song. Whereas it's funny now. I remember you explained to me very well once where you're kind of like, it's uh you're you're just putting you're like it's like you're putting a little flag up saying this is this is what the song sounds like do you like it you know you're not you're not laying out your whole table of wares you know you're just kind of going this is the vibe of you know but I think as a, as a writer you're always like but that doesn't make any sense if you lose the second verse <laughs> <laughs> why didn't I just stop halfway I just yeah. like half a song will I next time <laughs> yeah you just realize people haven't did, didn't realize that you skipped the second verse I think it's it's having a few years of singing you know of forgetting the words and singing the same verse twice and nobody knows <laughs> but you're like wait a second and that makes me less precious about it brilliant I <laughs> love it and then I'm um, yeah, just things like that, having to explain things like ticket charges and blah, 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 just stuff that in my head is unfair and doesn't make sense. And I hate having to justify 
things that I don't agree with to the artists who also I know won't agree with them. So it's that resistance acceptance dynamic. But then where the world is not perfect, but yeah, we but have to do perfect. And I feel like stay at home just, and not do anything. It's, it's kind of easier, I think, for you to be like, this is, you know, this is bullshit, but like, this but, is the reason. Do you want to do it? You know, it's still, we're still on the same team about it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Not like you'd be saying, you have to do, you know, you have to wear this, or you have to do yeah. this, you know, like we're, we're, when we do face something that's sort of a bit tricky, we're always on the same side, you know. We're like, stay to that, but let's, should we do it? Should we not do it? Let's, yeah. yeah, no, you're right. And that makes it a lot easier. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> okay, this is your last question. Oh, what is your proudest moment as an artist? I like that question. Um, God. Um, I, you know, recently, I feel <laughs> I just had this lovely thing recently during the it was during the repeal the eighth um campaign and I was away was I, I yeah I was away for this particular thing um and uh Sally Loa and Saint Sister and a bunch of other amazing women were doing a, a fundraiser and they all as part of the thing had all learned we the drown to sing <gasps> and there were all these amazing Irish women singing um, at this fundraiser and that just blew my mind recently um, you know because I, I remember when I started out I was very shy and I was very um, reticent to even call myself a songwriter you know I mean you remember very much like it was, took a lot to kind of to kind of Break through and feel like my own art obviously because I came from a sort of you know a different world and then it, it took a long time for people to go do you not just sing back vocals and all of that and just to get to the point where there's like genuinely a new generation <laughs> of Irish women singing and then choosing my song to sing at this incredible moment for the country um was just amazing yeah, right. a little video of it somewhere um, but that was really special to me, um, you know, and these artists who I admire so much, but yeah, that was really something. You kind of felt like, I felt like <laughs> it was, I felt like a, you know, a, a real songwriter, which sounds so ridiculous, you know, I haven't done it for however many years, <laughs> however many albums later, but, um, you know, there's still that part of yourself, this, you know, that imposter syndrome thing where you just think, what am I doing? Um, and that really felt special to me. That's amazing. So not just bringing your own songs to life, but actually watching people embrace them and enjoy them and continue the story as well. That's brilliant. Yeah, it was magic. So cool. I love that. I saw something online today where it's like, can we ditch the term imposter syndrome for our daughters? Oh, it was like, that would be my takeaway message today because we're we're sort of by acknowledging that it exists in us, I think we're sort of perpetuating it. So it's like, yeah. let's just let it go. Yeah, well, I think at some point you just have to go, reality is, you know, this is what you're doing. Yeah, check it, <laughs> check it, own you it, and like... move on. It's like, just yeah. deny it. It's like, yeah. this exists, but I'm, I'm taking responsibility for it existing and I'm not accepting it anymore. No, absolutely. Amazing. Everybody has that. I'm probably going to stop the recording now. Do you have anything you want to say to the? Uh... Oh yeah, Central. No, well, it's just this is a really great. Um, this is really great. I feel like there should be more festivals celebrating women music. This is really good. I and, agree. Um, hopefully, we'll be able to do something like this in real life soon with mm. people. Thank you for agreeing to do it, and thank you, Charlene, for the forum to do it on thank you see you guys in real life soon i'm going to stop recording <laughs>